in the geometry section. I think it also could very well fit in the algebra section. Sort of a combination, algebra, geometry, uh, word problem. So number 34. A fuel tank was approximately one-eighth full. After adding $50 worth of fuel, the tank was three-fourths full. The fuel costs P dollars per gallon. Approximately how many gallons does the tank hold when full? And one of these expressions here is supposed to represent how many gallons does the tank have when full? Ah, well, the first thing my mind does is it makes a visualization. I got to visualize this fuel tank. And since it's all talk, it has a fuel tank, it's talking about a tank, and guess what? They say the word tank how many times? Three times. That means it's an important image to, uh, to, to use in my calculations. So here's my fuel tank. And it's approximately one-eighth full. That's an important clue. That's telling me I should take this tank and I should, you know, start thinking about it in terms of eighths. So I visualize my tank. I visualize it having eight parts to it. And I visualize, you know, one of those parts is filled up with gas. That's one-eighth. One eighth full. Then they add, you know, we add fifty dollars. Hey, got some money. <laughs> fifty dollars is a lot of money. In relative terms, it's not a lot of money these days. But you know, it is sort of still a lot of money. You know, it used to be a lot of money, but now fifty dollars is kind of like not that much money these days. Anyways, forget about that. Let's go back to this test. $50 worth makes this tank three-fourths full. All right, so how do I include that information? Well, if I add three-fourths, where would three-fourths be? Let's see, this right here is one-half. This is a quarter, right? This would be three-fourths right here. All right, there's my marker. That's what I want to pump this up. So I fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. I get up to there. Three fourths. If if okay, so what does that tell me? Well, right now, since I, I I learned that you know this piece right here is equal to fifty bucks, fifty dollars, and I filled out one, two, three, four, five of them, and each and it's five of them equals fifty. Five equals fifty. Well, doesn't that tell me that each one of these equals ten? That's helpful information, right? Well, if each one of those equals 10, and I got 8 of them because my tank is divided into 8 parts, then it wouldn't make sense that if the whole thing went full, when full, it's equal to $80. If we go from here to here. Okay, so I got that when it's full, it's equal to $80. Now, if the fuel costs P dollars per gallon, Approximately how many gallons does the tank hold when full? So, wait a second. This is kind of tricky. What I figured out is, based on the fact that each one of these, when I fill up an eighth of the tank, each eighth costs $10, I figured out that to fill the whole thing up from empty all the way up is going to cost me $80. So when I'm driving my car, by the way, I don't have a car. I, I use public transportation. So you got to visualize yourself there. Drive into the driving to school or driving to or you know uh, that's you you you're driving a space car. All right? <laughs> you're racing to the exam on the day of the exam and you know that it's uh, you have to your car's totally empty and you know you got to fill it up. Um, so it's going to cost you $80 cuz you like to fill it up every time. Well, how many, how many gallons is that going to be? Well, this is where you have to visualize, you know, if this was the real world. I don't know how much gallon is these days. But let's say, it's eight, you know it costs you $80. You also know, you can also imagine that um, every little tank or every gallon of fuel costs $40. Or $4, sorry, it's $4 a gallon. Well, how many gallons does your tank have? Well, that would be 80 divided by 4. That would be about, what, 
20 gallons, your car can fit about 20 gallons in it. At $4 a gallon, it would cost you $80. That's how you have to visualize. But since we're not told what P is, all we know is that whatever you have $80 that you know it's going to cost, and whatever the price of P is divided by 80, that's going to get you the amount of gallons that are in your car. Does that make sense? Maybe? Kind of? Sort of? Kind of? Okay, now let's look at, conceptually, another way to approach this real quick. I had to visualize what this all meant, so I really had to make this for myself. I had to make this concrete. Even though don't, I don't have a car, I had to imagine you know, what it would be like to have a car. And you have a car, so you can, you can put in these numbers. But if my, I know every time it costs $80 to fill up my tank, it would make sense that this P value here, whatever this P is, it could be like $4. Just say in your head, imagine, yeah, maybe it's $4 per gallon. So $80 divided by $4 a gallon is going to help me get to how many gallons does the tank hold. That type of thinking there is going to help you make sense of if, if you're going to go this way or this way. Would you take 50 and multiply it by P? Or take 80 and multiply by P? I don't think multiplication... Oh, let me go back there. I don't think multiplication plays a part in this problem. I mean, I'm looking at the problem and I'm thinking, no, no, it's going to have something to do with division. It's 80. I'm doing something to the 80. Okay, so that might have helped me choose A or B. All right, here's another way to think about it. Let's say, let's say you, you realize that this had 80 gallons, $80 to fill up that tank. That means it's either going to be A or D, which means I could eliminate B and C right away. Because I, I know that 80 is the correct number, because the full tank holds 80 gallons, because I figured that out. Ah, now it's just a choice between A and D, and I'm thinking 80 divided by P, you know, the price, you know, the price per gallon, ah, this might be a way that I should think about it. And then A, this is probably the best way. I could have, using our algebra strategy, made that key. Here's, and my, what's my anchor? Tank. What are my variables? Well, the variables are what I see. Uh, I got to figure out what P is, what 80 is, what 50 is, and, um, you know, uh, one eighth is. Well, we figured out that one eighth is equal to ten dollars. Fifty is equal to three fourths of the tank full. Eighty dollars is equal to you know a um, hundred percent full. And P is some unknown price. Oh, the key strategy helps me make sense of this whole thing. Now I'm trying to figure out how many gallons this thing holds. Well, that's easy. I just take whatever the, whatever the price is that it takes me to fill it up, which I know at, when it's filled up it costs $80, and I divide it by P, the price, per gal the price per gallon. Oh, and then I'm going to get to the number of gallons. So look, we could have done this problem using the key. Maybe that's a better way to do it, and then going back. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful. The answer is A. Let's, let's add in some blue here, or some this color right here, blueberry. The answer is A. Check out one of the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops, or sign up for some one-to-one -one tutoring. And thanks so much for watching. Take care.